Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of volume. This is standard 7.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty straightforward problem here. We have a rectangular pyramid and we need to find the volume of this rectangular based pyramid. So let me show you uh, if for some reason you don't remember how to find the volume of a pyramid. There's, a, there's an interesting way to visualize the volume of a pyramid. So I'm going to draw a rectangular prism right here. And we're going to see if we can figure out the relationship between these rectangular prisms and these rectangular based pyramids. So I'll do my best to make sure I've got everything all nice and neat for this rectangular prism. All right, here we go. All right, so let's say that I wanted to make a rectangular based pyramid. And so I was going to take this top face right here. So I've got these four corners. Here's my rectangular base right here at the very top, right? And I'm going to connect it down to this. So it'd be kind of a slanted leaning rectangular pyramid, but it's going to go right here on the inside. So I've got the entire top face covered. I've got half the back covered right there. And I've got half of the, the side covered right there. So that's one pyramid, pyramid I can fit in there. So I can get another pyramid right here, right? And I'm going to take uh, the front face and I'm going to connect it down here. I'm going to take this front face and connect it down. And you see now that I've got the other half of this side, so I've got the top and the side done. I've got the whole front done. So I've gotten uh, three of my faces done and then my final one is going to be this side over here. Uh, so it's going to be a slightly different rectangle. But I'm going to connect it right here. And we're going to see that I'm going to connect this side face right here. Uh, the other half of the bottom. Uh, the first half of the bottom was from the front face. And then finally the back half of that back face. So it took me three pyramids. to fit one prism. And so if I want one pyramid, well, what I need to do is I need to take my prism and divide it by three. So that's how we remember the volume of a, a prism is the actual formula volume of a pyramid. I'll put PYR because P sometimes means prism. It's actually one-third base times height. Now, base times height should seem very familiar. That's the volume of a prism. So volume of a prism is just base times height. And the volume of a pyramid is one-third of that because you can fit three pyramids inside of a prism. So let's find the area of our base. Right Here's our base. It's four times eight. So base equals four feet times eight feet, right? And that's going to equal 32 square feet, which means my volume of a pyramid is going to equal one third times this 32 feet squared times I've got my height and it's kind of imaginary, it's kind of in the middle right here, and that's gonna be six. And I wanna take my one third and multiply it by my six, because one third is six equals two, right? One third times six equals six thirds, that equals two. So really my volume is two times 32 feet cubed, and that's gonna be C, 64.